Well, I remember waking up and being five year old, I had no concept of time or anything like that, just that it was dark. And my mother and father over by the window, looking up at the sky. There was a lot of activity going out, going around. Now, I was in bed at the time, and um, as I'm coming up, oh, I suppose it was 12 or after 12, uh, there was a lot of commotion. There was an air raid and warnings outside our house, and there were 10 people to get in. You could hear the drone of planes. That's what woke us up initially, was the drone, which still, I can still hear it. Yeah. It was, a, and it, they were very low. Now we had a, a skylight and I slept in, and I could swear I saw the planes. We all got back into bed, covered down, and we went, we were hardly in back in bed. So obviously it must have been two, near two o'clock I was just gone to, when I didn't hear a bang, but a shrubber. The house shook and because the house was old my father and mother slept in a small bedroom to the front of the house so we all went in there and started saying the rosary. We knew it and when we heard the, uh, uh, the, heard the, mm, the bombs and, the, and then the whole place lit up red and we could see the sky was red over, over Lisa's phone. And there was another explosion and the whole back fell out the house. Just see it as if it happened last night. My memory of the, the next morning, it was a beautiful morning, I don't know. And the road was littered with glass, slates, bricks. Light bulbs hanging from the roofs and clothes hanging, curtains everywhere and it was terrible to see it. People shouting and roaring and crying and that, but uh, I was sort of more intent on in finding where my grandmother was. Well, we couldn't believe it. I remember going up, we had, there was barricades up, of course. We, we couldn't get much past the uh, bridge itself and uh, all the crowds were ga 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 gathering there, and again, a vague recollection of um, ambulances coming on and bleeding off a body, maybe, or something. That sort of thing was going on all the time, probably. And there was this fo phone box there. Yeah. And there wasn't, a, you know, the yellow phone box. There wasn't a bit of glass broken in the phone box. Hard to believe, isn't yeah. it? Well, the consequence of when the glass goes, you know? Yeah. The, the bombing was always prevalent in our, in our minds mm -hmm. because it left a lot of shrapnel in various objects in the house. And after the North Strand, it was a totally different feeling. We never knew if it was going to happen again and how, you know, when it might happen and how bad it could be for us. Because you could hear sometimes the planes because it was a certain drone. Yeah. You couldn't mistake it, yeah. you know. Well, you were just a little bit nervous, nervous you know. Uh, I think, well, I, I, I think I took away the, the f very, very close feeling of family with me, if nothing else. And I think that's something that he learned from the North Strand bombing too, because the, the, the way people helped each other out was just phenomenal. He often spoke about how families who would probably never speak to each other. It was a levelling ground for everybody, you know, because everybody's home was gone and belongings and everything.